is a matter of choice. There is also a path or a journey that we go through when it comes to our faith and our relationship with God. It doesn't matter if you've known God for so long, decade, 20 years, 30 years, or if you've only known God for a second. We have an end goal. And that's, that end goal is our eternal life in Christ Jesus. We need to know God. That's the very first step that we need to do in order to start our journey with Him. Because what matters is you know very well where you are at the point of your journey with God. God's promise is that if we have the willingness to seek Him with all our hearts, we will find Him. If you want to be considered as God's treasured possession, the key is obedience. If you find that one person that you look up to, reach out to them. Because if you're really serious about getting on with your journey, your spiritual journey with God, this is one of the things that you really need to embrace. Discipleship. Our journey is a matter of choice. And there will come to a point that when you have been with God for such a long time, you will have a dip in your journey. You will hit bumps in the road, rough roads. You will have a dip in your relationship. Now, God is reminding us that we should have the willingness to carry on, no matter how hard it gets. Lord, what part of my journey am I in right now with you? Right? Am I at the best point of my journey with you? Or am I slipping a bit and I need to get back on track? We're always tempted. We're, full of, we're surrounded by temptations in this world that will get us to sin. My child, again, stand up. Get back on track with your journey with me. I'm giving you another chance. Because that's how faithful he is. Don't you know that you yourself is the temple of God? And that the Holy Spirit, or the Spirit of God, dwells in you. We ourselves cannot get it right with God on our own. We need to remember that. With our own strength, with our own thinking, with our own doing, we cannot get right with God. That's why we need the Holy Spirit. And our journey and our walk with God should not be based on our emotions. Emotions are not reliable. We need the Holy Spirit. You know, God wants each and every one of us to encounter Him this afternoon. We invite your Holy Spirit, O oh God. We want to know more of you, God, in our life. We want to renew our passion for you. We want to be on fire for you, O oh God. If we have lost our passion, Lord, call us back once again. 